In Isaiah 41, 13, God says, I am the Lord your God, who upholds your right hand, who says to you, do not fear, I will help you. Three beautiful promises are included in this verse. First, God says, I am the Lord your God. The creator of the whole universe, the King of Kings, tells us that he is our personal God. What a warm assurance. He is not only the God of our parents, our friends, or our pastor. He is my God. The mighty, strong, and supreme Elohim who rules, directs, and leads is our Yahweh. A close God, a God of his people, a God who intervenes in human affairs, a God of the covenant, yes, our imminent and personal God. Next, we learn that our Savior is holding us by the right hand. The right hand is our strong hand. It represents our forte, our defense. But God tells us that what we think is our strength, He already holds in His hand. Lastly, God tells us, Do not fear, I will help you. The Hebrew structure of this command is for an immediate situation. God's words mean that we should not fear right now, because He will help us. I do not know what your present fears are. Maybe the trail of a virus, unemployment, safety concerns or financial hardships. In the midst of all this, God invites us to trust Him because we belong to Him twice, by creation and by redemption. We can count on His presence in our lives. Remarkably, this text covers all tenses, past, present, and future. It begins with the present tense, I am the Lord your God. Then it looks to the past. If God is holding us now, then He has already taken us by the hand. God again speaks in the present tense when He commands us not to fear. Finally, He unveils the future. I will help you. Our past, present, and future are in God's hands. We need not nurture fear, but rest in God's assurance of His constant help, because He is always caring for us and is always holding us in His strong arm of love.